And since the Earth is part of the solar system, by studying the solar system, we hope that we will learn more about where the Earth, how the Earth got to where it is today and where it's going. Well, we're not disappointed. This mission is exciting. Watch the behavior of these clouds, the way they interact with one another. It's as though you were seeing two swirling, immiscible liquids. This is the most dynamic and active geologic surface in the entire solar system. Volcanic uh, lava flows. And each of these satellites is uh, unique. approximately 760 Earths inside of Saturn. Well, the rings are made up of individual, individual small particles, perhaps something the size of a basketball. And each one of those is like a tiny satellite. Catch it just right when the outside freezes and the inside is still liquid. Saturn's large moon Titan has an atmosphere probably two to three times as dense as the atmosphere here on Earth, an atmosphere predominantly nitrogen but with a trace of methane. Late last night, we had these frames come back from two billion miles away. difficult to explain. We're very sensitive to any dust in the rings. Miranda surpassed our wildest expectations. Here we see a cliff 16 miles high on this fault. If you were standing here, you could flip a rock off. It would take it nine minutes to fall to the bottom. How do you generate a magnetic field of a planet briefly? You do it by having an electrical current flow inside the planet. Negative 5.38 microseconds, plus or minus 1 microsecond. I guess the surprise to me was that there was anything to see at all. That's motion. That's how you study motion, and motion is the key to... Uh, Meteorology. Well, it looks like we got pounded with about uh, 300 hits per second of tiny little dust particles. And the science is pushed in in an amazing fashion. It's like fitting a jigsaw puzzle together. One of the interesting things that's kind of, that's kind of bizarre is the uh, terminator region of Triton. Farewell to us, and it's our farewell to you.